Sometimes you just want to intercept a password as a user is typing. That's key logging. And we can do it from hardware or software. Let's take a look. So key logging is the act of just simply intercepting the password as it's being entered. There are any number of key loggers. PassView is but one. What you could do is you could use PassView and you could actually infect a USB stick with just a simple command. It's basically um, a command that goes into autorun.inf. Now, autorun.inf, we have to back up. Um, in CDs, DVDs, removable media, USB sticks, the original thought was, as soon as somebody puts in a CD, start playing it, like in case it's movie or music. Don't sit there dead waiting for the user to do something. This was all just to make the user experience good. <laughs> the downside is hackers soon learned that um, the mechanism to tell the operating system, hey, start playing this thing or start using this thing or, or pop up something. I mean, have you ever put in a DVD and up came a menu immediately? You didn't do anything. And it said, what do you want to do? Or it started playing right away. Well, the original mechanism that told the operating system, start playing me, was a file called autorun.inf. It was just a text file. And it was supposed to just give a simple command in text to the operating system to start something. Now, of course, start <laughs> could be something malicious, too, instead of just like a music CD or a video DVD. So you, too, could use a tool like PassView or anything, quite frankly, and you could edit the auto run inf or put in one if it doesn't exist in, say, a USB drive because USB removable drives and sticks also can auto run just the same way CDs and DVDs. Any removable media can do this. Um, and you could say, hey, start the keylogger. Ta-da! Now, it is true that most windows have auto run disabled. Well, that's okay. Instead of that, instead of auto run inf, um, trojanize the thing and make it look like a game that they're playing, which installs the keylogger in the background. Yeah. So we could overwrite auto run inf with this command here. And basically we're saying, start this executable and save it to a text file by this name and I'll retrieve the text file later. Now, there are all sorts of keylogger types. The most common ones that we know are just the hardware ones that go between the keyboard and the computer. You can also, in some cases, install a keylogger that works at the BIOS level, at the motherboard level of the PC. You can also have a keyboard that does the keylogging, malicious keyboard. There are other kinds of keyloggers you can plug in that are not necessarily between a keyboard and the computer, but they are capturing nonetheless. Like you could have just USB uh, keyloggers that they just look like a stick. And you know, if the computer is down on the floor under Suzy Q's desk, she's not going to see it. She is not going to be crawling down there looking behind because the thing's pushed up against the, the backside of her desk. She's not going to see anything you've plugged in there. So you just go back there and you plug something in, right? So you could have uh, USB adapters or PS2. That's the old style um, key mouse and keyboard connector. There are key loggers that use the camera that listen for the acoustical taps on a keyboard because each of these has sort of a different sound to it. And they can figure out when it has a certain sound, it's a certain key. Um, or there are key loggers that work against Bluetooth, key loggers against Wi-Fi. You could um, put in a root kit, which is basically replaces some of the core parts of the kernel of the operating system. Or um, maybe uh, you could replace a device driver that has a key logger. You could have a key logger that goes into the hypervisor if you are using um, virtual machines or something that gets it off of forms that a user enters in. I mean, there's so many key loggers. Uh, these are just a few examples. So hardware keylogger, here are just a few. Go on Amazon and eBay. You'll buy them on Amazon. It's just amazing. Here's one example right here. 
Suzy Q is not gonna know the difference. It looks like just an adapter for her keyboard. She's not gonna realize that this hardware thing is capturing everything she types. All you have to do is just sneak in later and just unplug, put the keyboard back in normally. You take this thing, check it out later. The software key loggers, there are kajillions of these, and I, this is just a short list. Um, so there's Metasploit, All-in-One, Free, Spyrix, Soft Activity, just loads of them. And here's just an example of one of them right here. You can see that um, automatically start this key logger, start it in hidden mode, don't show it in the system tray. Uh, if you want, you can also press um, hot uh, specific keys to hide it. Start key logging. Start scanning someone's clipboard. And then you can install, uninstall, do whatever. And I'll come and retrieve the log for my own perusal later. How on earth do we f defend against key loggers? Well, Anti-spyware, antivirus, keep those installed, keep them updated. No pop-ups, pop-up blockers. Don't open any junk email. Watch out for phishing. Put in a software firewall. Put in an anti-keylogging software. Update patch. Have a host-based IDS. Have a password manager because the password manager will insert the password from a software perspective rather than you typing it in. Don't let people have physical access to sensitive computers so that they can't go plugging in the things like this, right? Um, and now and again, visually inspect computers for weird stuff plugged in. There are a bunch of anti-key loggers. Zamana, Guarded ID, Key Scrambler, Spy Shelter, Defense Wall, Elite Anti-Key Logger. Here is Zamana right here as an example right here and they look for that kind of interception activity. And they'll look, okay, um, is anyone uh, key logging off the screen or, or typing or the webcam or the clipboard, etc.? And so we can see if we discovered anything, if we blocked anything, aha, this one was blocked right here. So that's key loggers.